Hello, this is Ari Varel from Tourism Intelligence Group, and I'm going to share with you some of the audience segmentation that we've been um, experimenting with using Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. I've got three audience segments um, shown right now, and these are just some examples that we thought you might be familiar with or might be experimenting, experimenting with on your own. And I'm going to set aside how we're identifying these audience segments. Um, we'll share that in a different session right now. The focus is um, what are the segments and how we're using them. So I've got three different segments set up right now in the acquisition overview report. I've got uh, all the traffic, foodies, and international. And I can see immediately what percentage of the traffic is represented by each segment in the donut and the percentage underneath each segment. So the foodies are about 11%, international is about 13% of the total traffic. And although those numbers individually are not a significant amount of the traffic to the website, by the time we have five or six segments identified and optimized, we probably will have optimized the vast majority of traffic to the site. And that depends on the individual situation. But let's go through and look at how we're um, how we're using those. So the traffic from each of those is fairly similar. Um, this may change significantly as depending upon how we are uh, tracking a, an audience segment. But in this instance, the sources are about the same. The rubber really meets the road when we get here inside uh, acquisition behavior and conversions. And we can immediately see that the orange has lower bounce rates. So the engagement is higher for foodies. The international market is about the same or slightly worse in some cases of a bounce rate. So it's showing us that the engagement rate for foodies is higher. So when we're showing the foodies the appropriate content that's optimized for them, it's lowering the bounce rates. And in this example, the international audience has not been optimized properly. The engagement rate is slightly worse than average. And the optimization of that content is it's not done. Could be better. Additionally, as you may have already suspected, the conversion rates for family, which is in orange, are higher across every channel that's coming in with the exception of uh, social. The conversion rates for family, excuse me, for foodies is higher across all the channels on the site, letting us know that the content that was optimized for foodies is encouraging them to convert at a higher rate than the rest of the site, letting us know that the optimization is working and that the content is encouraging them to convert. The call to action, the call to click is appropriate, but the international market has, that audience has lower conversion rates, as you may have expected from the higher bounce rates, it has lower conversion rates and still needs work in the optimization. And we can get this in other reports, but as a, a place to start, the acquisition overview gives us a way to see those conversion rates broken down by the different audience and get a sense of how the optimization is working. Although it's small numbers individually, as we add up and optimize those audience segments, it will make a significant portion of the traffic in this example. So I hope that gives you a quick overview of how we're using and reporting on the audience segments as we optimize content for a specific audience.